Ladies and gentlemen, what we are looking at right now is the King Euro model, which shows Hurricane Michael making landfall as a Category 4 hurricane, which could mean up to 140, 150 mile per hour wind gusts. Now, I got to let you know that for about 14 hours, um, I've been under the spell of some bad witches. So I've just been in a severely bad mood. Extremely angry that you guys argued about a damn hearing for a month. Well, we got hit by one hurricane and now about to get hit by another. And I was locked in that spell where I was just angry until Malware Unicorn on Twitter tweeted about her puppy that had resting judgment face. And he reminded me of my dog, Bubba, who I haven't seen. He's at the ranch. I haven't seen him since my stepdad died, what, six months ago? And I know that he was judging me saying you should be helping the people and the animals. And Bubba was agreeing with him using the Jedi mind communication device that I taught Bubba. So I'm now here back to you to tell you that the media at this point, I do not believe is telling you guys how bad this thing will be. Now, I need you to know it is up to you to do your due diligence, look at the data, look at multiple sources and decide what is best for you your family, your pets, your friends, and your house, okay? So, I'm going to do my best to tell you where I think it's going and the possibilities are. And I gain nothing by trying to lie or mislead anybody. But it is up to you to decide. Now, I'm in Houston. I've been in other coastal cities and coastal people have a mindset that like hey dude i've been through a cat one before i've been through a cat two before like this is 2018 if you haven't been paying attention because you're watching the trial mother nature has been causing tsunamis that wipe out towns cities we've been have japan got hit by nine typhoons um indonesia they're still picking up the rubble from the 7.7 earthquake you know, this will be the fifth hurricane hit on the United States in 13 months. So, as your planetary defense commander, I need you to take this seriously. Because I need some good people to survive on this team if we're going to make it as a civilization. And so, we're talking about right now, unless a miracle happens, we're talking about over 100 mile per hour winds. And we're looking at top level of possibly 150 or higher. And the top-level storm surge that would come with this fast-moving storm would be incredible. We'll now run down the things I've been I've been still working. I just haven't recorded any audio. So here I am. This is weather charts, and I love you. But don't be scared. You got about 72 hours. Um, just I need you to take this very seriously in Florida. And the thing is, this storm is gonna what I don't think is being told to people as well is that this storm is going to not only is it going to make landfall like this is the GFS here the GFS has in it a category 4 hurricane as well so I don't know why everybody, they're telling everybody it's either cat 3 or cat 1 or cat 2 <sighs> anyway remember I did technically start an official warning like 10 days ago saying A I thought it was going to be cat 3 and it was definitely going to hit the gulf so Everybody else got on up, got aboard three days ago. Cranky weather guy. He was fantastic. I highly recommend his blog. Storm and Hamster, I'll leave a link in the information box. He called it September 18th. And remember, hurricane season over isn't over after this one. Okay, so this thing maintains almost hurricane strength as it exits up the entire east coast. And Hurricane Florence did major damage, although it didn't, didn't report it that well. Um did major damage at one point a thousand roads were closed and so south carolina and north carolina have taken major hits so there are multiple models that take you know the low pressure system could cross over new york and new england we're watching that and but it's going to cause damage it's going to do damage it's going to cause more flooding and the river levels are high the, wa the water saturated and so it's like i've been saying every 10 months, 2 years, 3 years, 4 years. 
We gotta come together as one American family, stop fighting over the dumbest shit ever, and deal with these earth weather changes together. Because the coasts aren't that safe. And scientists are just gonna yell at you the bullhorn going, climate change, climate change, climate change, climate change. Like that helps anything. Like somehow, if everybody got if they if everybody agreed, oh yeah, okay, climate change is man made, then oil companies would magically be like, Okay, you've unlocked the secret door. We will now give up our capitalist ways and do do good for the public, you know? We will give you gasoline at twenty dollars a gallon. I mean a dollar a gallon. All right. Philip Pepin saying the three K NAM print's pretty high. But we just use the euro and the GFS, and, the, and it's king euro. So we can talk about a cat four possibility because well, I guess it would be cat three. Sorry, but I would no wait. Yeah, cat three, but that's still 120 30 mile per hour. But the euro has it. Wait, where is it? Okay, we go see this is 30 foot waves. But if we go over to the, these are wind gusts, but the Euro has it at like 148, bro. See that? So that's the Euro over Destin, Miramar, Panama City. And so this thing would be major, massive, huge. Like, I mean, that would have a wind field that would affect the entire shaft Florida and the panhandle and that if it comes in with 148 mile per hour wind speeds because the hurricane rotates counterclockwise the worst of the storm surge would be here and I'm not good at calculating storm surge but the wind speed here would make it a category four and so that's where I'm getting tripped up because the millibars are saying all right it's category three I'm calling it category four because the windy model has it there at a category four speed. And people get pissed off if they want. Like I said, double check the data, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So you prepare for the worst. Well, this crappy GFS model is like says, oh, the worst you got to worry about is 78 miles an hour. But the, so it's going to be somewhere between the two, but I definitely like. I've had a bad feeling about the storm. I've had a bad feeling. I put out a warning from 26th of September through November. I mean, October, because I've had such a bad feeling about this month. We're going to get some nasty, severe weather, and that is just a shit ton of rain on top of the storm surge. So, um,. You know, if they, the, I'll find the storm surge maps, but I'm just saying I can't say exactly where I think you should evacuate. But um, if you are along the coast, I definitely think if you're going to be on the right side of the eye, you do not want to be there when that storm hits. And I don't know how many miles to go in to tell people, but I don't. It should be pretty bad. So. I'm not trying to freak anybody out. I'm just trying to save lives. And so I need people to really pay attention to this because this could be a pretty bad storm. Um, and we've been hit by five storms. Like I said, a tsunami hit. Although that's different than a hurricane. It's, it just shows how unstable the weather and the earth changes have been. And so... Here's Cranky Weather Guy here. Big Bend, the high target, tightly clustered hurricane models the go to. Can see footprint and vapor to support. It's a big right. But remember, it will move a bit left in time as our Atlantic wildcard comes into play. And as always, like I said, his blog is fantastic. Stormhamster.net. I don't know. I'll leave the link in the information box. We watched a Central American gyre CAG evolve into Hurricane Michael, which is now forecast to become a major hurricane before landfall in the Florida Panhandle. There is a precedence for such an evolution. The exact same thing happened with Hurricane Opal 
in October 1995. And look, like, that, see this hole right there? Or see that part of the coast right there? Okay, so, wait, wrong one. We go here, and I've noticed on the majority of the model runs, when it hits, it hits somewhere where that hole is, see? So it's like it's done this a hundred times. See what I'm saying? Like, I've watched enough of these model runs obsessively to notice the trending patterns, and it keeps having it go through that. I mean, it doesn't fit it completely right there, but I'm saying, I think this is a process that some of the weather, like, I think sometimes I think science has it all wrong. Or most of it wrong, because I've become more and more convinced that the planetary alignment that is happening right now, I don't know if you know this, if you're new to this, and this isn't conspiracy wacky shit, this is the, this is truth, man, this is physics, all right? You got the sun and all the planets, all the planets are on the same side of the sun, it just started like two months ago, and so they're all spinning around together, and so... That has to affect stuff. I'm, I'll put together a video later, but I'm just saying this is one of the reasons we should continue to expect wilder weather until our solar system balances out a little more. You don't, you know, we'll look more into it, but just the whole carbon can't be the damn excuse for everything. Jack Sillen, Michael continues to intensify. Satellite imagery now showing a strong CDO with several hot towers. Tons of resources on the blog to get the latest info. Ryan Maui's live blog, he has me blocked because I suggested that volcanoes, magma, could be heating under California and the wildfire areas. You know, and they blocked me because he said that was crazy. And then, like, two days later, scientists announced that they found some giant magma chamber under the place I was talking about. I'm saying. I don't know, for getting so much shit right, I've had a rough time, man. Being a YouTuber, nobody's like, no, you're like cancer. Nobody's like, oh, God, the guy's a YouTuber. Nothing he does counts. But yeah, okay. And, you know, you may not like my style, but like I said, I don't, I'm just here trying to help people, man. So I get thousands of people run through here like, you're a dipshit. And I'm like, well, thanks, man. I'm just trying to tell you guys about the shit accurately. Remember, I was the first person who called Hurricane Florence as a danger. You're like, 17 days out first person on the planet to say hey we have to watch this this is going to hit the east coast so I do a good job there's just a lot of assholes in this world because everybody complains mad everybody all the time which is dumb a life threatening because we're in a class war a life threatening storm surge from Michael is expected along the coast of the Florida Panhandle with peak inundation values occurring within the big bend to viewing flooding potential in your area, a, dy a dynamic map is provided at this link. And so, like I said, you're going to have to be monitoring the hurricane and decide if you're going to leave. You don't want to get trapped in traffic. I don't want to show you that model because they were saying that, yeah, I was the one that was scaring people. Um, And so, but this is serious. I saw a meteorologist too saying people were overhyping it like dude no they are not although i'm mean, hope you know a miracle could happen like a giant ice meteor could fall into it and cool it down i'm just saying like at this point we're pretty damn sure i'm pretty damn sure that it's going to be you know 100 mile per hour winds over so i'm gonna try and wrap this one up now that i've calmed down a little although not much saying things are weird man everything is weird and i would say when the sun acts weird earth weather acts weird and then people act weird i think we're in a we're definitely in a geomagnetic storm i've said this giant coronal hole right here passed by so we're now getting its solar wind so chance of storms today geomagnetic storm the planet is being lit up like a christmas tree Merry Christmas, by the way. Um, there you go. Oh, yeah, and then Elon Musk was showing us 
how they took pictures of Hubble photographs, and then they told us the Hubble's broken. That's that made me mad too, man. Whatever. <laughs> Shitty thirteen hours. Okay, yeah, I'll be doing this. I'll be back on it all day. And um, there you go. Uh, stay tuned. Peace out. God bless everyone.